You made it. I was worried because you were texting me from the drive. I parked up. You what? I parked for what I text. Oh, you parked? You, you parked. parked. You didn't really. What do you want? Unsweetened iced tea. Okay. Could someone get order Paul an unsweetened iced tea? So thank you, Nikki. Give it up for Nikki. See you later, Jill. <laughs> All right. That's my biggest fan, Jill. Okay. I wanted to read something to y'all that Sally sent to me. Okay, I gotta find it. Who's drinking Coors Light in the back? Cheers. I was gonna order it for you and then I decided not to. I'm sorry. Because I don't know you. That's the reason. I'm sorry, but you know, have you been to Wonder Valley before? If you don't know someone, they, they're a tourist or possible pedophile. It's one of two options. I, I am a pedophile. See? Told ya. Kill your dog. You're low. Wow. Are there only two options? Now there's three. Kill your the dog killer is the third one, apparently. All right. This is from Sally. It's from womenshealth.com. People who are chronically late live longer, study says. I, I haven't read this article yet. Yeah, that's the that's the you know what? I don't need to read the article. People who are chronically late live longer, comma, study says. You will never die. Thank you. Thanks. Wow, that's kind of weak. We got a bunch of punctual people in the audience tonight. Let's give it up for Georgine on the keys here. And and Jimmy on the bass. Listen, is there anyone in here who hasn't seen this band before? Yeah. Okay, I, I'm sorry, you must be so confused. <laughs> this band is called Stage Fright. And we are a band of people who are afraid to perform. We are non-performers in a performing atmosphere. Does that, oh. What's your name there? Sue. Sue the Comedian. Let's give it up for Sue. Yeah. Honest question, Sue. Have you ever had intercourse with someone who's been on Viagra? You don't know for sure. That's an on, that's an honest answer. Because really, you could say no, but how do you really know? You don't. You don't really know. All right, Sue. I like you. All right. Listen, we're going to go ahead and get started. a list of auditions that I passed around last week so I'm just gonna keep moving through it um, let's see is Kiki here is there anyone who'd like to sign up who didn't get to sign up last week no all right um, Razor is Razor here Razor's here come on up let's give a big hand for Razor You wrote your name down right here. So you're not auditioning? Is that what you're telling me? I didn't know what it was. Oh, but that's the point. No one knows what, because the point is that people don't 
want to do it and they get tricked into it and then they like it. So you're tricked. So come on up. Give a big hand for right for everybody. We love you. Come on. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Razor. Yes. Okay, I'm going to start this audition off by saying, number one, you're already in. Okay. Okay, so pressure Thank you. is off. So, um, here's, here's the show is a Valentine's Day show, and here are some of the roles that are available. Right. Um, um, piano player, sorry, Georgie. You're gonna be in the show, we need your acting talents, you know? We need like a, an accompany at sea. There you go. I can't play the piano. You, okay, so that role's not for you. Um, someone to print leftist propaganda on a government printer? No. I'm nope, gonna... all right, You're, that's just not for you. Goes, um, goes against my belief system. Yeah? Yeah. About printers? Yeah. Yeah. Belief systems are BS. <laughs> so are printers. Sonny, we're going to Printers have failed me printers, too many times. Oh my, that's true. Printers fail me too all the time. I don't even have one anymore. I mean, actually I have several, but yeah. they're all broken in a junk pile in my backyard, unfenced, because my neighbor left them there. Um, all right, so how about this? How about, oh, would you like to get licensed in the Church of Satan to officiate a live wedding? Again, another belief no. system. No, okay, right, okay. So we're staying away from ideological structures yeah. in general. Um, what about handing out free chocolate? Yeah. I could do that. You would yeah. like to do that? Yeah. All right, could you, could you maybe just, let's pretend you're going up to Nicholas over here, and you're giving him a free chocolate. What would it look like? Would it be an assortment of chocolates? Or Listen, you can do whatever thing? you want. You're already in. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw it at him. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh! away for free at least to me sometimes yeah that's true <laughs> <laughs> all right razor you're awesome thanks for coming up thank you let's give a big hand for razor everybody all right that was great is there anyone who is interested in either of those roles of, of accompanying on a piano or printing something on a government printer what about dry cleaning this jacket anyone want to Audition for the role of dry cleaning this jacket probably twice. It's never been cleaned. No, not tonight. Maybe next week we've got another. Let's give it up to the palms for letting us use this space. Audition spaces are expensive. It's hard to get people to show up for auditions.